for the people watching at home who may not know, who, who do we have, who are we delighted to have joining the, the show with us oh tonight? Oh my gosh, we have the honor of welcoming the one, the only, Grammy Award winning recording artist, Layla Hathaway. Layla, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much for being here. Nice to have you here. And uh, I'll, 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 I'll counter that with you. We got, we got the, the lovely, the talented Emily Blunt's gonna be Woo! having the Colbert Questionnaire tonight. Taking the questionnaire. Fantastic, Mary Poppins herself. And uh, our friend and yours, the wonderful Jose Andres is gonna be out here in just a little while with his three daughters. With his three daughters to give us some little, uh, a little cooking. They've got a cooking show now about their trip to Spain. Mm -hmm. And just as long as we're talking about Jose here, of course, Jose, is one of the founders of World Central Kitchen, yeah. which helps people all around the world, has <laughs> delivered hundreds of millions of meals. And right now, they're continuing to work so hard to feed the people who are displaced in, in the Ukraine. And we have launched a charity effort here on the show. You can go get one of the Late Show t-shirts. <laughs> it is Is Potato, and also a same mug. Same late show, late show mug right there, and it says is potato right there on the mug. <laughs> Go get these. Do we have the uh, the QR code right there? You can hit that QR code right there. It'll take you to the website. All of the late shows proceeds will go to World Central Kitchen, supporting their mission in Ukraine and around the world. Mm -hmm. Totally worthwhile, yeah. right there. Plus, it's a really good looking picture of a potato. <laughs> Folks, if you watch the show, you know I spend most of my time right over there, casting the day's most striking story models, lighting the highest, sharpest topical cheekbones under a Pro Photo 2D4 flash head and a Fotex Soft Lighter 2 umbrella before an Oliphant terracotta backdrop and capturing them with a Mamiya RZ67 to create for you the penetrating yet poignant any leave of its portrait that is my nightly monologue. But sometimes, folks, I break into a petting zoo in the middle of the night, feed the animals a cocktail of Adderall, Benadryl, and Mountain Dew Code Red. Then startle a goat just as I snap the shutter to create the barnyard mugshot of news that is my segment. That is, that is hydrogen in my balloon. Meanwhile, here's the latest from K-pop supergroup BTS. Jin, the eldest member, has enlisted in the South Korean army because Korean men are required to enlist in the military by age 28. While in America, by the age of 28, all men must join an improv group and get into home brewing. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's big news from the world of words because Dictionary.com's word of the year is woman. Okay. Really? The word of the year describes half of the world's population? Which year are we talking about here? One? Garg, I met someone different. They are like men, but whoa. According to Dictionary.com, women are officially in the zeitgeist because of major stories like the Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade, the Iran protests, and the death of Queen Elizabeth II. Right, because when Queen Elizabeth died, we were definitely Googling the word woman. <laughs> and not corgis euthanized question mark? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. I'm not saying I would do it, just... <laughs> Just curious. Meanwhile, scientists have uncovered the oldest known narrative piece of art. It's an 11,000 year old carving in Turkey that features a man holding his phallus as leopards corner him. It's a tale as old as time. Anyone who's ever had a leopard safety course knows if you're naked and encounter a leopard, hold your junk. <laughs> A cheetah. I think that was a cheetah. <laughs> Meanwhile, scientists have designed a vagina on a chip. Great, another one of those weird Canadian flavors. <laughs> First ketchup, now this. Hopefully, the vagina chip will be more successful than the last genital themed snack, Predsticles. Oh, God. Is that okay? And I'm being informed that these chips are not for snacking, but tissue grown on silicone 
to simulate the vaginal microbiome for research. And Harvard's Dr. Donald Ingber is very confident about the quality of his simulation, boasting, this walks, talks, and quacks like a human vagina. <laughs> now, here's the thing. I didn't go to Harvard. <laughs> but I'm going to say this guy is not that familiar with a human vagina. <laughs> Let me ask you, Doc. These vaginas you know about, do they like breadcrumbs and fly south for the winter? <laughs> Meanwhile, it was announced today that after decades of thinking otherwise, surprise, snakes have clitorises. <laughs> Reached for comment, female snake said, yes. Researchers, researchers thought the organ didn't exist. In fact, CBS News reports it took more than a century, but scientists finally found it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long time coming. Or... <laughs> or not if you're a female snake. The news is extra exciting because it turns out snakes have two individual clitorises, hemiclitors, separated by tissue and hidden by skin on the underside of the tail. So snakes went from having no clitoris to having two. It's a bonus. That's like reaching into the pocket of a jacket you haven't worn in a while and finding two clitorises. <laughs> when we come back, I debut the newest celebrity Christmas album. Stick around.